Hello everyone and welcome to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung. Today is May 12th, 2013. Uh, came back about two weeks ago from Thailand and Singapore, spent about 40 days overseas. And finally, after two weeks, I am uh, recovered from jet lag. So let's do a video about saving VLAN information inside of GNS3. I've got GNS3 open. I'm running the latest and greatest 841RC3. And uh, most of you know that when you run GNS3, you save the config. Uh, let's say you made 10 VLANs, uh, you save it. And then next time you reload, 10 VLANs are gone. Sad face, right? So I'm going to show you how to get your VLANs back. We've started up GNS3. You see that there is this new project window pop up here. And uh, usually I tell people to close it, but today we're not going to close it. We're actually going to make a new project. Let's call this uh, Saving VLANs. And click this checkbox. Very important. Save NVRAM and virtual hard drives. Uh, what this is, is this is where the VLAN information actually goes. And we're going to click OK. We now have a blank project. I'm just going to drag in a single 3700. Hopefully I have my router image correct. There you go. And I'm going to fire it up and then open a terminal window. There we go. And let me just change the text to be a little clearer and larger. Yeah, Courier new font. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, that's good enough. Um, ah, actually, I screwed up. <laughs> I probably should have added that switch module. Okay, we're going to go to slots and add in a NM16ESW. There we go. Now I'm going to start it up again. Kind of important module to add because uh, without that switch model module, VLANs really don't do us any good. So change my text again. Maybe I haven't fully recovered from the jet lag, but okay. Show IP in VR. Let's see if we have uh, interfaces. We definitely have interfaces, so life is good. All right, let's make a VLAN 10, VLAN 11, VLAN 12, end it WR to write the information. Okay, we have that. Let's end that. Now I'm going to go to File, Save Project As. Or actually, maybe I'll just click Save. Okay, I'm going to save it. Let's see if we get our VLAN information back. We're going to hit the stop button, close out of GNS3, and we're going to keep our fingers crossed, open up GNS3, open a project, saving VLANs, double click on topology. You'll see that I have a configs folder under there and I have a working folder under there. All right, we have a router. We'll click play. Moment of truth. Open a terminal window. And let's see if we have our VLANs back. And on this one, Unlike a real switch, you have to do show VLAN dash switch on these guys instead of the normal show VLAN brief. And look at that. We have VLAN 10, VLAN 11, and VLAN 12. So important part here is you're going to open a project. You're going to check that one box that says save NVRAMs. And then when you configure your VLANs and you got everything up and running the way you like it, always remember to go up to here, file, and save. And that's all there is to it, to saving VLAN information inside of GNS3. Thanks for watching.